Hey guys, Jason here from Ridgeline Overlanding. Just want to present you a little video of our latest adventure out to the Cornwall Hill Fire Tower and then exploring the backcountry between uh, Cache Creek and Gold River and then on down to Pemberton and Whistler. Anyway, this is our first video, so lots of rough edges, lots of work to be done, but uh, hope you like it and uh, stick around for the adventure. This is a little bumpier than I thought it would be, but uh, the two and a half inch lift seems to be doing good. And the fact that I cut off my tailpipes after ruining them on my last trip I haven't replaced them yet, so we've got good clearance in the back. All right, peoples, we are at 1,867 meters. I believe it's a 2,000 meter summit. We are up above the tree line, as you can see, obviously. And wow, this is just a taste of what's to come. Well, this is the famous Cornwall Lookout. 2,036 feet, or sorry, meters, 6,680 foot elevation. So we gained a lot. So this is looking west up towards Lillooet, southwest. So this mountain ridge along here is what you would be seeing when you're driving from Lillooet to Lytton. South, you can see some of the higher peaks that would be part of the coast mountains. And you know, southeast, got this badass Honda Ridge line blocking the view. And we'll get some views on the other side afterwards. This was the final approach coming up. I know video always makes it look not that steep. It was definitely the steepest part of the drive and the ridgeline had looked like a jam. We've come and gone from the Cornwall Fire Tower and it was unbelievable. Decided to try taking Hat Creek road out to uh, Highway 99 in the pavilion area between Cache Creek and Lillooet. And it is really nice. Rolling hills, all ranch land. You can see the grass, the mountains. It's fabulous. Another 10, 12K on this road will be on Highway 99 just before my buddy's cabin at Pavilion Lake. All right, so we just arrived at the intersection of Hat Creek Road and Highway 99, also known as the Duffy Road. This is the first car we have seen in three hours. So that's pretty cool. Like any good overland video, it will show us stopping to air our tires back up. Morning, everyone. Hope you all had a good night's rest. I know I sure did, good enough. Hope you can see in the background there, the mighty Honda Ridge Line which performed admirably yesterday. Anyway, enough looking at me. Just around dark last night, we pulled into the BC Hydro Recreation Site in gorgeous Lillooet, British Columbia. I'll just give you a little 360 here because we're pretty much surrounded by mountains. This place is uh, rather epic. Some buddies and I stumbled upon it a couple years ago. We were just looking for a short hike in the area on the drive home from a friend's cabin. And I put a paper clip on this one and said, oh, we're coming back. Wow, we got ourselves a black bear over there. Bathing, scouting around, looking for fish. We are on uh, Paiute Creek right now, having just left our campsite, just at the base of that mountain. We're driving along, I'm saying our morning prayers, and Sam's like, black bear! And I'm like, you're supposed to pray, never mind, turn around, let's go see the bear. So after the great bear sighting, we stopped in Lillooet, grabbed a couple of sandwiches, for lunch and headed on our way west towards Goldbridge. Lots of amazing scenery to come here. Hang on for the ride, guys. Looks like we are going to descend just a wee bit. If I keep it straight, in a word. Epic. So we're just rolling through here on our way to Seaton Portage. We've actually decided we're not going to go to Seaton Portage. We're going to carry on to Gold River and Brillorn and then take the legendary Hurley Forest Service Road down towards Pemberton. Absolutely spectacular. Look at this overhang. The rocks hang right over the road. Not 
sure if you can pick it up, but uh, almost dead center on the screen is a waterfall flowing down. We're back to gravel, so we're officially overlanding again. Mm -hmm. Looks like we are at the Mission Dam. Mission Dam wreck site. I guess there's some tenting back here or something, but uh, this was worth jumping out of the truck and getting some video that wouldn't be bumping up and down from the dash. And there is the dam. I guess we'll get some view on the other side too. So we are on Carpenter Lake Road now, having decided not to go to Seaton Portage, but take the longer, hopefully even more scenic route around through Berlorne and Gold River. Looks like we found our lake access. Sam caught that. We will be pulling over here in seconds. Not too many overland videos of people backing down an access road, but I didn't want to come straight down this and back out, so we'll do what you do. Lunch by the lake. Sometimes you gotta make your own leveling block, so we got up onto those rocks a little bit. Pretty nice spot here next to this creek. I don't remember what the name was, but we're gonna do a quick 360 here. And then we're going to turn the video off and we're going to think about some Subway sandwiches and some swimming. All right, we're back on the road after about an hour long lunch and swim break over at that gorgeous spot we showed you. I wish I could be more geographically uh, informative for you guys, but this is probably the first time ever where I've traveled somewhere and really not even looked much at the map or where we are, or where we're going. We're just being in the moment and enjoying it and trying to capture some great footage. Just about arrived in the metropolis of Goldbridge. So we didn't really check out Gold River. We stopped to look at the map in greater detail on my iPad and uh, we're quickly swarmed by mosquitoes through the open car windows. So we're gonna keep on cruising over towards Hurley Forest Service Road. Looks like it's actually gonna be signed the whole way so I'm not gonna think too hard about it. Whatever the sign says for Pemberton is what we're gonna do. And we are on Hurley Forest Service Road. I don't know if they call it the Hurley, but I will be calling it the Hurley. a little trail going off the Hurley. Thought we'd just come check it out. It ends pretty quick. It's a nice set of views in here though. Looking back, not quite a 360 panorama, but pretty close. Wow, look at my baby. I don't know if I've ever had a vehicle with that many bugs in the front. Still cruising down the Hurley. Sorry if it's bumpy. Amazon's finest iPhone mount here. But well, if you can have a look-see way down there, we've got eight kilometers left on the Hurley, and I think it's all going to be switchbacking us down. Well, we made it down the big Hurley descent at a little modest 220 meters now. Hard to believe we were just up there. Now that we ever do a big descent, we're at about 200 meters now. So we're down in the Pemberton Valley on Pemberton Meadows Road here, do a quick 360. 
before we uh, get some more air in these tires. I can't be doing the paved roads like this with 20 pounds of pressure. It's just a little too, uh, a little too bouncy, a little too dangerous. All right, well, we're just heading south of Pemberton, a few minutes down the road here to check out a campsite that we found on I Overlander. Alrighty then, time for the sign off. Thanks for sticking around for what is our first overlanding video. We are new to overlanding and definitely new to video, so we've got lots to learn. If you like what you see, then hit that like button and maybe even subscribe. Got questions? Leave a comment and let's chat. Until the next adventure, y'all take good care and enjoy the great outdoors. Bye for now.